All right, so like many of you, we had pre-ordered the new Ultimates from G.I. Joe when we first heard about it from Super 7, and we paid premium value for them at 55 US dollars. So hear me out, guys, and this is going to be the most honest review you're going to hear from us here. Is it worth 55 US dollars? No, as you guys look at the accessories that it comes with. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I said it from the get-go. These are... 25 to 30 us dollars i'm going to give super seven the benefit of the doubt and say you know what 30 us dollars because they do load you up with accessories as you guys can see there but a lot of the accessories sometimes you don't use when you put them in poses you use it for photographing you know doing videos if you're a youtube creator and that's pretty much it you pretty much get into pose you might change it once or twice let's be honest right uh there he is with the canister i mean this is nostalgic sneak eyes i love sneak eyes you guys know this if you've been following my channel since day number one this and jobless palace got us going back into the toy industry for us uh sneak eyes version one was always one of my favorites when i was a kid got me to gi joe when i watched it in 1983 fell in love with the character and ever since then i've been a huge sneak eyes fan now aesthetically wise they do look good but here is the issue with the Ultimates. And I figured it out over time what it is. They're too long. The legs are too long on them. That's the problem. They need to somehow proportion the upper torso a little bit more with the legs. The legs are too lanky on the figures, which make it kind of awkward sometimes to pose them. In terms of the articulation, I'll be honest with you. I've, I've seen a few of the Ultimates and played with them. Well, you know what I mean, posing them. This snake, guys, is probably one of the better ones in terms of the posing that you could possibly do. The problem with this one, like I said, is that certain angles you do it on is, I mean, that's classic snake eyes right there of him going yo-jo with the gun. You got to pose them like that sometimes, right? Um, the legs are too long. Same with this one and Cobra Commander. I think if they had made it, I would say maybe six and a half inches, maybe six and three, 6.30 zero inches, not to be specific then it would have been e even better. The legs are too long. That's the issue here. As you guys can see, some of the poses you go to do with it, you're like, okay, there's too much leg going on here. I'm bending the knees. It's just, it's too long. That's the problem. They got to lower, they got to shorten the legs on these ultimates. That's the issue. Again, in terms of accuracy and aesthetics, they look great. Okay. Um, but there are, there are botched up paint jobs on them. If you really look at them, and I'm sure a lot of you have the Super 7 Ultimates, Look carefully. The face sculpts, they look good from a certain angle, but if you look carefully, there's a little bit, you know, paint jobs on it that aren't perfect, unfortunately. That's just what you're going to get with Super 7. But overall, again, these figures are worth retail $30. What they did, dropping them to $10, $11, mm, probably left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouth. And they're not going to go buy them immediately for premium value unless you really want the toy, to be honest with you. I certainly am not, right? So drop a comment below. Let us know what you guys think of the Super 7 Ultimates overall. Right now, I've been talking to a few of the retailers that I deal with. They're not selling that great, guys. That's just a fact. So Super 7, you might want to lower your prices just a tad bit, make your market value what it should be worth. And I think you guys will be A-OK. -okay. Yo, Joe from G.I. Joe Headquarters. All right, take care, everyone.